It's a grand life. It's a grand life. It's a night. here today is a bad sign. She doesn't like me, you know. Oh, you can't take that person, is her? No one in your family likes you. <laughs> well, well, this is different. She's trying to take the company away from me. All because Stonehill Light salad oil is a failure. It's not my fault the stuff tastes like varnish. No, sir. <laughs> and it does a spiffy job of shining up the furniture. Though. Go get Hillary. I got to get my briefcase. Very good, sir. Hey, Dwayne, Dwayne. You know what a llama looks like? A llama? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's kind of a furry little camel with no humps. Oh. Uh, well, come on. You can help me pick her out of the crowd at the train station. Pick who out? This is Stonehill's new pet llama. Now? I got these windows to finish. Well, I can't wait, Dwayne. She's here now. She's here now? Oh, she wasn't supposed to be here till this afternoon. Well, 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 she's here now, and she's waiting at the train station. Uh, okay. Uh, get the chauffeur and have him pick her up in the limousine. The limousine? We were just going to use Rick's pickup truck. Yeah. Pickup truck? Oh, yes, sir. I mean, that way, in case she has uh, an accident, we can just hose out the back. <laughs> My Aunt Charlotte is not riding in the back of a pickup truck. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Now, we are talking about Mrs. Stonehill's new pet llama. Oh, 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 thanks for reminding me. Uh, I wrote out a list of instructions on how to take care of a llama. Uh, who wants to be in charge? Oh, oh, oh. Fine. You're in charge. Follow the instructions on that list to the letter. What are you doing? Randolph. Randolph, I've just packed up all last year's fashions to give to the poor. Aren't you proud of me? Oh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> We're all proud of you, right, Albert? Oh, absolutely, sir. I'm sure we'll all sleep much better tonight, knowing that some tall, willowy bag lady is looking absolutely smashing. <laughs> I must go into the office today, so I'm counting on you to take care of my Aunt Charlotte. What? Now, I know, I know she can be very difficult to deal with, but I'm sure that you can handle her. I don't want to handle her. You handle her. I'll go to the office. Hillary, Hillary, Hillary. <laughs> if this board meeting goes sour on me today, we could lose everything. The company, the house, the money... The shopping? Yeah, the shopping, uh, the servants, the... The servants! <laughs> May I be so bold as to offer my assistance, sir? Yeah. Albert, you don't know anything more about Randolph's Aunt Charlotte than I do. But I have a plan. Uh, sir, why don't you make a list of all the things that would please your Aunt Charlotte, and we'll do our utmost to count out to the old crow. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, Albert. I'll leave a list on the desk. <laughs> I don't know, Randolph. Albert. Uh, oh, yes, pas de vent. Excuse me. Hillary. <laughs> I know you can do this. I have the utmost faith in you, my darling. You do? Yes. Mm, well, then I'll do it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Mm. I better run upstairs and see if I've got anything left to wear. Right. <laughs> Albert. Yes, sir. You're in charge. I assumed that, sir. Thank you. I'm leaving now, Albert. Oh, fine. Hey, wait, wait. Where are you going? To the dentist. I'll be back before lunch with clean teeth. And, with any luck, a date for Saturday night. Hey, Albert. 
You know where the hose is? Back of my truck is a mess. Oh, not now, Rick. I'm looking for a list, a list of instructions. Where is it? Mr. Tony Hill said he was going to leave it on the desk and he forgot. Oh, he's a twit. I got it. What? You've got it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. <gasps> Albert. But Albert. Albert. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in charge. Hey, Rick. Hey, what's this mess? Oh, Albert was looking for the list of instructions and it wasn't even here. It's because I got it. What? Yeah, Stonehill wrote it on his way to the office. Catch you later, Rick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Albert doesn't need two lists. Yeah. Albert, have you read this list? Oh, yes, madam. That's why I'm preparing these apples and carrots. And item seven. Take item seven, for instance. She may exhibit nervous behavior after travel. A strict diet of apples and carrots for the first two days should alleviate her anxiety. Does that make any sense to you, Albert? Well, no, not really. But then a lot of things don't make any sense to me. Pantyhose in plastic eggs. <laughs> the appeal of Bruce Willis. And the entire state of California. <laughs> Need I go on? No, no, I think you've made your point. Yeah. You know, it's never made any sense to me. That funny little pointy red rubber thing at the end of a toothbrush. <laughs> What's it for? Oh, it's to massage your gums, madam. Oh. How do you turn it on? <laughs> Shall we get back to the list, madam? You know, it really is too bizarre. Yes, I agree. But then, after all, Aunt Charlotte is a stone hill. Good point, Albert. <laughs> She's here. Get out of my way, move, let me by. Get out of my way and don't just stand there. Bring in the rest of my luggage. Well, yes, ma'am. I'll be sure to stick it in your room. <laughs> oh, hello, Aunt Charlotte. I'm Hillary. Well, who else would you be? <laughs> Who's this? I'm Albert, madam, at your service. Make yourself useful and get me a drink. Certainly, madam. Does it say what she drinks? Two gallons of water every day. Who do you think I am? Gunga Din? <laughs> well, it's certainly a pleasure to meet you after all this time. I doubt that. <laughs> so, uh, how was your flight? We got here without sucking a bird into the engine. <laughs> here we are. Thank you. Albert, to brush out your coat. <laughs> I didn't bring a coat. It's 80 degrees outside. Uh, Good Lord, you must be parched. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please let me be? So, uh, um, how was your flight? You ask me that. You certainly are limited conversations. <laughs> Would you please let me be? Madam? Yes? May I have a word with you for a moment? Yes, Albert. I'll leave this with you. <laughs> Does it say anything about her temperament? Oh, if she gets cranky, she probably needs to have a good run. Yeah. <laughs> if she resists, drag her along. <laughs> if all else fails, give her a sound rap on the rump. <laughs> Do you think she's cranky? What are you two yapping about? <laughs> Definitely cranky. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit further, Angela. Oh, very good circulation. Stop it! Oh, 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 oh,
Uh-oh. What? You know what's got to be done now, Albert. Yes, madam. But I think you should do it. No, no, no. I think you should do it. In fact, I insist that you do it. No. Oh. Well, I never. Really? No wonder you're cranky. Aunt Charlotte, uh, would you like some more water? Don't you touch me, either one of you. Where is that weaselly little nephew of mine? At the office. As usual, madam. Well, get him on the phone. Tell him you have failed to kill me. And furthermore, as far as Stonehill Incorporated is concerned, Randolph is finished. Oh, what are we going to do now? I don't suppose you'd be interested in selling all your jewelry and running away with me. Eh? No. Pity. Because that's all I can come up with. I'm going to make you look real pretty. You want to look pretty, huh? What? Uh, Rick, uh, what are you doing? You're trying to milk her? Don't be silly, Dwayne. I'm giving her a manicure. It's on the list, see? She loves manicures. Oh. The hard part is trying to get her to keep her foot in this soap suds. She won't do it. Hey, can you get me that bowl? I want to see if she'll drink some tea. Tea? Yeah. She won't drink out of a cup. She just gets it all over herself. She's not thirsty. Oh, I see. She's got to take a nap first. Yeah, well, um, I'll catch you later, Rick. No, 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 wait, Dwayne. I got to get her hot water bottle. Uh, can you stay here and sing to her until I get back? What? Yeah, she likes old songs. Uh, barbershop stuff. Yeah, yeah, but Rick, I don't know any... Ooh. Any requests? <laughs> Uh, won't you come home, Bill Bailey? Won't you come home? I cry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody's a critic. Oh, oh, wait. Um, uh, Rick, uh, wait. Albert, Albert, it's Aunt Charlotte. She's nowhere to be found. Oh, calm yourself, madam. She must be around here someplace. Ha! Hmm? That's what people always say when things disappear around here. And then they never turn up. Just like my hat. You... What hat? You know, my red hat with the bird's nest in it. You told me, don't worry about it, madam. It must be around here somewhere. <laughs> well, that was three years ago, and it you... still hasn't turned up. Oh, she ran away. Uh, yes, well, did you see her? Dwayne did. Yeah. Oh, where was she? Well, the last time I saw her, she was running down the south lawn. She jumped over two hedges and then ran into the woods. Yeah, and then she stopped to take a wee-wee. <laughs> and before we could get to her, she got away. Dwayne, go back to the wood and keep an eye out for her. Okay. And Rick, oh, you, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait for your instructions. I'll be right back, I gotta get a rope. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Rope? Oh. Now we're going to have to let the neighbors in on this. <laughs> I'll go over to the Beddingtons. You run across the street to the Von Bulows. Very good. <laughs> what are you doing, Jerry? Watering the house plants for Rick. Well, why can't he do it? Well, he's been spending all his time with his new friend. What new friend? He didn't tell you about her? Her? Lupe, he's crazy about her. Last time I saw those two kids, they were strolling in the garden together. <laughs> Is she cute? Cute? She's, uh, well, sort of a blonde, uh, big, soulful eyes, legs that just won't quit. <laughs> Catch you later, Lupe. Okie dokie. Oh, hi, Rick. Where's your new friend? I don't know. She just... Ran away. Ran away? Yeah. And I liked her a lot. I was good to her, too. Oh. 
Oh, you want to sit down, Rick? No. I'll get you some milk and no, cookie. No, I'm not too depressed. Guess I'll just keep looking. But if you see her, you tell her to stay right here. Okay. Oh, quick, quick, close the door. There's a rat out there the size of a Shetland pony. <laughs> Out there. Oh, this has been a terrible day. That man upstairs is very strange. Strange? Oh, oh, oh you must be. Of course you are. Oh, he's not strange. He likes you a lot. Likes me? Well, he has a very odd way of showing it. <laughs> oh, no. He just takes a little getting used to. But he told Jerry you have great legs. <laughs> oh. How sweet. <laughs> oh, the dear boy. <laughs> ah, there you are. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> Well, Mrs. Stonehill's been looking all over for you. Oh, forget that flippity gibbet. Huh? Why don't we go over here and sit down and have a talk? Oh. oh. All right. Is there anything particular you'd like to talk about? I'm sorry, I've forgotten the list, you see. Oh, you dear strange man. <laughs> Would you like to kiss me? Yeah. Kiss you? Kiss you? Why would I want to do that? Well, uh, women are not like men. We like to have a little uh, romance. Well, I hope you get it, madam. <laughs> but my duties are clearly defined. <laughs> Your duties? Oh, well, yes. Uh, Your duties? Oh, yes. Oh, I see. Huh? You were just a lure to win my vote at that board of directors meeting. Well, you can tell Randy it didn't work. He is history. Oh, no. Why do I never learn? I mean, a little peck on the cheek wouldn't have killed me. <laughs> Wait. Where is she? Ah. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yeah. Oh, you're there. Um, look, about what I just said, I may have been a bit hasty. Hello? All right, all right, I admit it. <laughs> I do want to kiss you. So, if you're still game, here goes. I just kissed a camel. Oh. Albert? Albert, what's the matter with you? He just kissed a camel. It's not a camel, it's a llama. You're just saying that to try and make him feel better. I don't know whose dog this is. But it just did a very naughty thing in the butler's pantry. Look at can we ignore the dog for a minute and just get on with the issue at hand? Where is Aunt Charlotte? Hey, I just caught this old lady stealing some luggage. <laughs> Hi, honey, I'm home. Your cat food buster. What? I didn't do anything. Wait, 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 A llama? 
But he thought he was kissing you. <laughs> Not that there's any similarity. <laughs> so you see, Aunt Charlotte, uh, everything was just a mix-up. <laughs> And none of it was my fault. I still think you went into the office to avoid me. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I went into the office to clear up this Stonehill Light Salad Oil foul up. What do you think of this? Stonehill Light Furniture Polish. And we can charge three times as much. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, you're just as devious as your grandfather ever was. <laughs> Isn't he, Albert? He certainly is, madam. And now he only has one problem. What's that? How to keep the furniture from smelling like Caesar salad. <laughs> I'm working on it. Leave out the anchovies. <laughs>